everybody, welcome to Song Theory. Today we're listening to Gore Noise. That's right, I made a video some time ago all about Gore Grind and it was crazy and outrageous. And today you will be watching me experience Gore Noise for the first time. Okay, so I got it right here, Gore Noise. And what's interesting about Gore Noise is the album covers are absolutely disgusting, but we will go through that soon. Um, I had to blur out a lot of this stuff because Gore Grind was bad. But Gore Noise, like the album covers for these are literal autopsy photos and it's it freaks me out. There is a Gore Noise playlist that I thought would be appropriate for us to listen to. So let's start there. Let's let's see what we got going on. All right. Um so when they said gore noise, I did not expect it to just literally be noise. Um, it, it's First of all, it sounds like it's going at 200 BPM. Um, they are playing every instrument at the exact same time. Of course, the yelling. You got to have the yelling. You got to... Like, if that's not there, then is it is it even gore anything? Like, what's the point? So nothing redeemable came from that song. Uh, let's move on to another song. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's go on to Pizza Burrito, uh, The Human Fungus Farm. It's the full album. These are mushrooms. Okay. It's a psychedelic drug. You know what I love about exploring subgenres of different like other genres? Like this is I, someone informed me that these are called micro genres where like you got heavy metal and then it disseminates down into to to even more niche and more micro genres. Gore noise is considered a like super micro genre, but there is a lot of there are a lot of people that enjoy this music. And what I find interesting is how it's it's like impressively disgusting right because you, you have to put the headphones on if you're not watching this with headphones you're not really getting the full experience but there are some really guttural disgusting like like bio biological noises that i'm hearing in my headphones right now and they sound incredibly nasty and again we have to make sure to link the song with like the album covers and, and keep this in mind Whatever album cover this is, whatever we're even looking at, it, it, I don't even know. Whatever we're looking at is so disgusting that even they had to blur it out. And these are the guys that made the goddamn song. They made it, and they even felt like they had to blur this out. What is that? What is in that picture? What, what did they take a picture of? I want to listen to Crash Course in Bone Marrow Consumption. Today I'm going to show you how to eat bone marrow the right way because you're doing it wrong. By the way, in my research, I've learned that there is a difference between gore grind, gore noise, and slam, right? I'm learning, I'm learning. So those differences are very slight, okay? Gore grind is more like guttural, <clears throat> low-toned <clears throat> noises, right? And gore noise sounds like more kind of higher pitched, registered, like even when the drums are going, I'm noticing a lot of high end, right? And, and slam just seems like they're hitting every instrument at the same time as fast as they can. And there is some intersection here, but it's not huge, right? The lines are very thin, but all of these subgenres of metal are converging. And I can hear the difference now that I've been exploring these genres. So for you fans out there of Gore Noise, how did I do? Comment below, let me know. 
and hit the like button. AIDS blood sausage party? I feel like that's gonna be a lot of fun. And 80% of us have AIDS. What? What did he just say? Wait. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. And eighty percent of us have AIDS. Did he just say eighty percent of us have AIDS? But the names, the names of these songs. Let's listen to unknowingly fed testicles. More lamb fries. Eat them while they're hot. Andy, that's your third order. <laughs> I am hooked, Elizabeth. <laughs> Call me Mr. Lamb Fries. Now that's a man who knows when he's got something. What is going mouth. on? You polish off that plate and you break the record. Twenty-eight. Stand back, everybody. The record falls tonight. Look at him go. <laughs> I believe he's right. What is happening on this song? Fall tonight. 27. It stood at 28 for nearly two years now. That long? Go for it, Andrew. Is this, a, is this a song? That's a tie. What is going, what is happening? The new record. Last forever. Most folks just don't seem to have a taste for testicles no more. What? What? What is going on? I don't understand. It's like as disgusting as possible, right? As nasty, as gross, as just humanly nasty and disgusting. I get it. But some of these songs are cra like, okay, there's this other one. This is the last one that, cause I, I could go down the rabbit hole here. Uh, there's one more called pul pulmonary fibrosis. And uh, it appears that the first song is called um, Fermenting Juices of Hepatic Secretion. Wow. Wow. That's a name. The first song of this album is called Fermenting Juices of Hepatic Secretion. I have no idea what that even means. That sounds horrifying. Um, let's listen to it. I hate breathing on the track. I hate that so much. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. It started off rough at first, but I kind of like the groove of it a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I kind of got into this one. I kind of like this song. This song again, what is it called? Uh, Fermenting Juices of Hepatic Secretion? 10 out of 10. I love where this song is going. It's kind of enjoyable. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. I might put that one on my playlist. Okay, you guys apparently love when I do this, so I had a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to go baptize my ears and wash myself in holy water. You guys have a great day. Better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you. I'll see you all later.